my new belt in for this uh, mower deck here. So let's take off the uh, covers here. This is a pretty new deck. It actually came with a 5665 that I got. You know, I think it's from the late 80s. But we're going to take this off. And let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah, it looks like the mice made a little nest in here with my ooh, grass seed. This uh, is a little tight over here on this pulley, so maybe we'll grease that up. Uh pretty typical but these idler pulleys suck sounds loud but it's not really shaky uh let's take this side off over here i have this stupid deflector on here so let me undo that little ghetto rig let's see i actually like these covers that have this little hand uh tightening device on it Oh yeah, looks like the little mouse friend did this side too. Just put that on there. That one turns real easy. This the gearbox turns no problem. Uh, the center pulley turns no problem. We just got this stupid busted bolt, so or belt rather. So, so let me see if I can get that new belt, and uh, we'll see what's cooking here. But I have a feeling that. We're going to end up taking this deck off the machine to investigate these pulleys, particularly this one. I don't know why it's so tough. It feels like the bearing is seized up or something. I'm going to put some grease in there and see if it makes any difference, but I have a feeling we're taking a spindle apart. I put some grease in there for like two seconds and it's already squirting out everywhere. And it's still so tight that I can barely turn it with my hand. So. We're definitely going to have to dissect this stupid thing, which is not what I wanted to be doing tonight. But whatever, you got to do what you got to do, right? The other problem with this deck is that it doesn't sit very level. The front dips down lower than the back. And I recently had seen some kind of uh, uh, documentation about a way to address that, which I believe has to do with loosening these bolts here and repositioning the deck where it should be and tightening them back up again so we'll see if we can investigate that also but uh to get this spindle off probably the easiest thing for me to do is to pull the whole uh, deck right off the machine here and then i can prop it up and work on it better before i take it off i might just try loosening this nut on the top here a little bit and see if maybe it just the bearings are too tight or, or what but I do happen to have some of those bearings in stock brand new somewhere so we'll see what we can figure out well you never know what you're gonna find when you flip a deck over so first thing the stupid baffle here is like totally destroyed and coming out so that needs to be addressed uh, the uh, center blade and the right blade spin fairly decent but this one is really tough and look at all the slop in the blade cradle here compared to the blade like it's all bent up and crap or or like possibly someone had blades on here that were wider than these blades i got these blades from richards a couple of years ago they're made by Oregon or Rotary or something I think but they're the, the factory uh, part number but they do upon inspection seem to be that maybe this deck has newer style blade cradles that someone's uh, upgraded but this stupid baffle here is uh, baffling me so the question is should I fix this or tear it out that's really the bottom line here and Looking at how it's installed, I think it was welded in there originally. And, you know, I don't think it's dragging on the grass or anything. It's not hitting the blades, so I guess it's technically not really messed up. But you can see over here, it's all, all rotted out. It's just totally disintegrated. So I guess I'm leaning towards what's the point of it even being in there if it's totally destroy i see that there's some kind of like bolts in here like someone 
bolted this thing in at some point. I don't know if you can buy like a replacement baffle, if it's just a bolt-in uh, piece or if it's just part of the deck shell itself. Down here it appears to be welded together, like this is one solid piece down here. There's a carriage bolt here which I think holds the carrier onto the deck, but this is all like fabricated together into that from what I can tell. Maybe it's just a coincidence that these bolts are in the back here, these little quarter inch bolts. Actually, it looks like someone put these on there. They have a square head on it. And when this thing was built, Gravely wouldn't have had square head nuts. So maybe it started to peel off and a guy just drilled two holes in there and dropped those nuts in there, you know? Anyways, that's not the problem at hand. The problem at hand is a spindle. So I'm gonna attempt to get the spindle off and probably all the all four of those bolts are gonna snap off, but I gotta fire up my compressor and get my uh, impact wrench out and we'll go from there. The uh, blades off the bottom of the deck and now we gotta use a puller to get this uh, pulley off the actual spindle here. So I won't do that on film, but that's the next step here is to pull that thing off and then we can take the whole uh, spindle assembly off and take it apart and investigate it. All right, so I got the spindle on the bench here and something's binding it in there. This thing does not want to turn very easily once it gets to a certain spot. So I don't know if it's bent. Oh, it might be bent a little bit actually. Oh no, look how, look how loose it is, how much play there is. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a lot of play in this thing. So I think one of the bearings is shot. So what I'm going to do is pull out these seals that are in here. And there's different types of these uh, seals. I've seen metal ones like this has. I've seen rubber seals. I've seen all different types on different kinds of spindles. But uh, for now, we'll just uh, yank that out and we'll see what's cooking in there. If we can get the bearings out. All right, so I didn't film this part, but I to get the spindle out, I put it in the press, and I pressed it straight down, and you see the bearing on the bottom here looks pretty good. This uh, this race, if you will, whatever you call this part, but um, that one isn't binding up at all, so that's a good thing. And let's see, the inside of this thing is... You know, packed with grease, obviously, because when you fill it with the grease gun, it's filling this with grease. <laughs> so, kind of got to douche all this out of there. Oh, let's see, before we can even see that other bearing. That's a lot of grease, huh? Yeah, what a mess. That's why I wear these gloves now. I don't want to get this shit all over me. Not trying to be a wimp, but it... uh sucks to clean grease off of you so let me clean this out and we'll bring you back and so i got all the bearings off of that shaft and now i got new bearings that i'm gonna first i'm gonna grease them and then i'm gonna put them on there and hopefully that solves our problem i see another issue which is there's this little piece that's like a spacer and i have a feeling that the blades might have been too tight and there's a little ridge in here in the center like it was depressing around these uh, this area here where these splines are so before I put this in I'm gonna grind that flat again and then uh, probably in a perfect world you'd replace this spacer with a new one but it's not a perfect world so we're doing a cheapskate job yeah so we'll put the new bearings on here put it together and see what happens I got it working good now and so you know what the problem was is that that spacer that goes under this seal was so screwed up that it was binding on the shaft. So I happened to have another spindle over here, part spindle. So I took it, I took it out of this part spindle and put it into this one. So now we're spinning really nice. And if I put my blade cradle on, we'll see how that works. Yeah, it will work really nice. So. Now it's time to mount this stupid thing uh, back on the mower deck, and uh, we'll call it a day. I also 
accidentally destroyed the uh, grease zerk that went on the top, so I borrowed a grease zerk off the parts uh, spindle here. I'll just have to put this on, but yeah, we should be in, uh, in good shape. It's spinning really nice now, really free, and uh, we'll grease it up and uh, throw it on the deck.